Right, have you done that? Excellent. So if we take a look at how that runs, here comes our ant, or in fact, if I pause it, you can see that my ants are all there. If I run them, they all run around in circles. But ants don't normally do that. What we want them to do is kind of walk around randomly. Now, computers hate creating random numbers. It's against their very idea. They like things to be certain. So it's really nasty code. And I don't really want to write all that really horrible, nasty code to uh, make a random number. So, but fortunately for us, we don't have to. Okay, now, I'm just if you look, I'm going to close down this My World and just look at the ant. At the very top of the ant, remember, we imported Greenfoot code. And one of the parts of that was a library called Greenfoot with a capital G. So we're going to use that because within that library is a lovely bit of code that can make random numbers for us. So I'm going to take the three and I'm going to change that. So I'm going to call this now Greenfoot. So that's that library of code. And within it is a little bit of code called get random number. So it's using camel case. Now, and I open two brackets. And notice now I've got two closing brackets. And don't forget that. One of them closes here, so that's that bracket. And this bracket obviously closes there. So there should be two closing brackets. And now I'm going to put in, well, let's start by, say, putting in 20. Compile that. There's no errors. Now I run this. So I go back and I hit run. And there are ants. And you see they're actually starting to act slightly more randomly. However, no ants all walk around in the same direction. They're all circling around. They just seem slightly drunk at the moment. And we, we don't want drunk ants. We don't do that. So I'm going to make it slightly more complex. Is What's happening is it's turning randomly between 0 and 20. If I change that and I make the number larger, you'll see slightly more random action. See, this ant here is going off around, but it can do almost anything. But they all still going around in that same area, and I don't want that. No, I want them to go sometimes left, sometimes right. So sometimes anti-clockwise, sometimes clockwise. And at the moment, if we see, they're all traveling clockwise. The reason they're traveling clockwise is even if it's a 1 or a 50, it's a positive number. And when we turn in a positive number, it goes clockwise. What I'm therefore going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to say random 50, but then minus 25. Now think about this. If it produces randomly a number, say, 5, then 5 produced by that at a random minus 25 will give us a minus 20. And that will make it go anti-clockwise. Whereas if I get, say, a random number generated like 30, 30 minus 25 will give us 5, and that will go clockwise. So by doing it, asking for a random number from 0 to 50 and then taking away half of it, you're either going to get a random number down to minus 25 or up to 25. It's going to turn both left and right randomly. If I run this now, you see that your ants actually look like they're alive and they're running around. Okay, so what I want you to do is you can close down the world, go into the ant, and change the free to a green foot dot, because the dot means it's part of, there's a homework on that, get random number, and inside the brackets 50, but then minus 25. Give that a try now.